Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Callan, our romantic coastal retreat island. We just celebrated 100 episodes of this let's play. In case you missed the celebration and you'd like to watch it, make sure that you catch up on that. Um, but as I was kind of showing you the island in that episode, I wanted to kind of work or finalize the area that I'm currently standing in, which is my resident services. So I think this is actually what we're going to be working on today. So we have our entrance right here, and then that leads over pretty much right away to our resident services. And there is basically a little cliff in front of it. So you can have like a better view of it. So I guess this all kind of also is part of the resident services area and then there is a few tiles kind of all around it um and also in the back here now i don't know how far we're gonna get but i would kind of like to work on this part right here so um yeah that's what we're gonna do i think um it's not gonna be anything like super themed once again i think a lot of my islands are usually tons and tons of fillers just to get the the vibe and the feeling across and just like make it look more finished and finalized the only things that we could maybe think about is something specifically for nooks crannies so we might incorporate a couple of things over there and the other thing i definitely want this frame to kind of be um yeah an expression of what we want this island to kind of look like so i was thinking we can try and incorporate a couple of shell items and also maybe another anchor. So those are those are gonna be things that we have to kind of remember to incorporate. Now I have some, like I have an anchor over here by the entrance and I do have some shell things here, but I think it's enough of a distance to be able to incorporate those. So first things first, I have my wooden storage shed right here. I think we're gonna put it up maybe on this side of Nook's Cranny, so it's a little bit out of the way. And then we're first of all going to go through my storage and see if there's any items here that we want to incorporate. Okay, so the first thing I'll grab, uh, which I often do, is weed fields because we might kind of start incorporating a couple of those and then definitely some of those uh, shell items I talked about. Yeah, I definitely, shell partition would be awesome. I definitely wanna try and incorporate that. And then there's a couple of things here. So there's the shell speaker and I think the lamp. I'm not sure if there's anything else. There's a shell stool, but that one is very small. So I'm not sure about that one. And then I guess there's probably like a few yeah, a few decorative uh, like storage pieces that we maybe could incorporate. I don't know if I want to have trash though. I guess maybe trash we can put by Hornsby's house for like the mechanical stuff, like the workshop. Um, for nooks, we might just be able to work with like a rolling cart, the caged cart, maybe something like this. And then I think there was also, oh, an anchor could be cute. And... Maybe some like wooden boxes or something like that and then have some some smaller things to kind of go along with it. I do love to do like storage moments for, for nooks so this could work out. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, and then with these things, let's go ahead and try and get started. Um, any codes that I'm using on this island can be found on my website in case you're wondering, sparksby.com slash Callan and then that should have all of the codes there. Um, I guess I kind of want to have it look good from like, first of all, if you just walk past it, but I think also, especially if you stand here, I think this would be, this would kind of be a good perspective to, uh, consider all the, all the areas. So one thing is I kind of want to see if we can put the shell partition like right here. I think this would be a good moment to really showcase some, some shell items. Probably the other way around, um, but so you have like, you have like a bunch of shells right here, or maybe we'll push it more towards the left, because it seems very in line with the like notice board. Um, so maybe that, it's also the wrong way around. I feel like that maybe makes it hard to judge, and I can't currently put it right behind the coconut tree either. Okay, what happens if I place it from this side? Also the wrong way around, not so great. Okay, I can place it from this side, side though, and then that should work, I think. Yes. Okay, so this would be the correct way around. Let's try this. And then I think the other the other thing I just want to try is maybe put a weed field um, back here. So usually I put them together in groups of two. Is that a group? Pairs. In pairs, probably. <laughs> so I put one on half a tile like this, and then I put one like 
on the full tile, which is next to the tree in this case. All right, this way it kind of hugs the tree and it hides a lot of like those, um, yeah, cliffs or, or gaps in between certain things. I feel like that actually is not bad. Uh, T-Bone is now sitting in the place that I was considering for the shell partition. But you know what? This could work. And then I guess like a blue flower in front of the weed field for sure. Okay, we have weed fields here by the entrance. Actually quite a few. We could have one down here. Or then further over to the left hand side somewhere here. Okay, T-Bone. I just want to... I just want to try and have the, oh my god, have the shell partition kind of more here, I think. Yeah, let me see this from the angle. I guess, like, honestly, both kind of work for me. Um, but maybe since we're going to have more stuff by Nook's Cranny, maybe we'll just put it, maybe we'll just put it like this. Let's try it like this for now. Um, now I don't want to make this path here too awkward with like too many items uh, in front of Nook's Cranny. So we might also just be able to place something maybe like halfway behind it. You know, like this is the behind the scenes part where like they, they store a couple of, of items. Like why not, right? Okay, cage cart, not my favorite. Not my favorite, I don't know if, uh, I'm like being a little weird about it. Oh yeah, wooden box maybe has a more solid type of option here. And then we put the cage cart kind of like in front of it. Or maybe like two things next to each other, to be honest. Because I think from the angle that we just looked at it, you can see multiple things. Um, okay, we have the rolling cart. That not, might not look cute, I'm not gonna lie. That might not look cute. Okay, can I still place the cage card here now? I have the blue version with this. And I did bring some things such as a bottle crate maybe. Let's check it. Uh, let's check this from from our from our spot. It's, I just wish we could color Nook's Cranny. You know, if I could make the building not so yellow it would probably be like a little bit better, but maybe that's not bad. Maybe this is totally okay. And then I'm just thinking there should probably be like a flower in front of this. Is this a full tile? I think so. Yeah, that should be a full tile. Then maybe like a flower or something a little bit more natural. And then we're gonna do like decorative bottles. See from this angle, I think that's really not bad. I think that's honestly kind of cute. Aw, T-Bone just, <laughs> just waved at Pate. That's so cute. All right, and then we have like a little anchor, which um, I do want to bring. I had these anchors in my in my mood board, I think, and I haven't used them a lot, really. Like I've barely, barely used them, I feel like, but they're always like slightly awkward, if that makes sense. So I don't know if that's just kind of the issue here. Um... Okay, I can definitely put something in front of... I'm trying to think of like which which parts of this are actually visible enough for me to use it for a decoration. I guess like the area by our pear tree is also quite visible, like the area in front of it and next to it. It also is a little awkward though because it's very... It's a very narrow space. What about this being an anchor though? If this is an anchor, how would that look? Could also be pushed further back with like a wheat in front of it or like this with, oh, okay, that's not great. I get the idea of it, but it probably would be better if it's just like pushed halfway in front of the tree, but that's not really possible unless we add more cliff here, but like it's gonna be naked cliff like this, which I don't love naked cliffs. <laughs> They're not my favorite type of cliff, you know? Um, I probably can't place anything here without... Without, like, moving the tree, can I? Oh! I can from this side. Okay, interesting. Oh, that's not gonna look good, is it? Uh, I feel like that already... That looks so... Weird? Or not? t is so cute. No, that does look a little weird. That does look a little weird. Mm-mm. 
I feel like I removed the lamp that was standing like right here because I just moved it over a little bit. I feel like it's super dark now. Like my face cam is super dark and that's weird considering how many lights I have shining in my face. I'm gonna have to rethink that I think. Just a random thought on the side. <laughs> okay, can I pick this up? Yeah. Okay, picking it up is no issue, just placing it down kind of is. It's not my favorite placement though, so it's going to go. Um, I want to try and use this, you know? That's my issue. No, no, that's not it. I think here it kind of worked just because it's somewhere like in between, you know? I also did use the darker version, but it's just kind of hidden in between and that's fine. But like anything that's too obvious, it's just going to look it's just gonna look weird. Um, can I maybe place it in front of this cedar tree? I'm like halfway in front of the cedar tree. How about that? You wouldn't see it from the platform, I think, but you would see it just walking past it. Maybe that's good enough for what we want. Yeah, it needs something behind it uh, to block the sky a little bit more, but maybe that's better. How about from here? Yeah, you don't really see this. Oh, you see it like a little bit, actually. Oh, maybe that's okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, you see it like a little bit. Okay, interesting. Okay, T-Bone and Pate are, I don't know, they're glitching and they're somewhat like very, <laughs> very close to each other. I'm um, sure that's fine. I am sure that's fine. Now, we've got a few options here. Either we can also twist it the other way around. We could also push it more in front of the, the cedar tree, but I guess like waking up here right you'd be standing here you'd wake up it'd, it'd be nice if it's on a half tile those are always the issues full tile half tile twisted this way or the other or oh gosh yeah but you know what i mean like if i push it if from this angle push it more towards the right hand side then you'd see it a bit more clearly we will attempt it we will try it Simply because I just want to see it for a second. Okay, uh, this could also have more vines, maybe. Um, yeah, I mean, this, the, the area next to it definitely needs more coverage, for sure. Because it's very, lots of sky. I'm not a fan of the sky in Animal Crossing, it seems, because I always want to find ways to hide it. But I guess the anchor kind of shows up. Maybe we could make it work like this. Okay, I want to attempt to maybe put up some wheat fields there. Sorry, T-Bone, I gotta go up here. Mm, so kind of similar to how we had it downstairs. We're gonna do this one and a half tile behind the tree. And then this one like next to the tree. And then I mean there would be like a flower probably next to the anchor or like a, or like a shrub. It depends. But I feel like that might already make it a little bit better. The anchor struggles. I think that's what this is. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better. After the lighthouse struggles, this is the anchor struggles. No, I think this is just gonna be like resident decorating or something. Resident services decorating, I mean. Okay, um, right. I think I'm kind of happy with most of these. Now, I do currently have this sapling here for stunting as well as these. I think with the shell partition here, this one is actually fine and can stay there. I think I honestly kind of like the display stuff there, like the storage display stuff. I am thinking about like this area. I actually don't mind the trees. I know some of y'all said that maybe I should remove like one or two trees from like this part, but um, I actually kind of like them because I think it's a decent like balance of trees. Um. I guess I'm just wondering if this should have another one. <laughs> Maybe not though. Maybe it's more made for like another shell speaker. Uh, okay. Maybe like just, just here, you know, close to our partition. Oh wait, no, you can't see the speaker part. For like ultimate shell vibes. Okay, you barely see it like this. I guess that depends on how you decorate the cliff. I think that could work, but it doesn't have to. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, we still have the stack bottle crates, another cage cart, and the shell lamp. Okay, shell lamp. Do we think the shell lamp could go look good here? 
Oh, I see like an unrounded edge. I think there's no other way to do that though. Yeah, you know, we struggled with that before. I remember it's all coming back to me. It's all coming back to me. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's there and I guess it's fine, but it's also not great, you know? Maybe it'd be better to bring the shell lamp somewhere over to to this part so it gets a bit more of a moment still. And then I guess the other the other like caged cart and bottle crate. I think it maybe just find a moment like in front of Nook's Granny or on the left side. Maybe the bottle crate here with something small on top of it. I think I want to try this. Okay. So next step is going to be, I'm going to put some custom designs underneath everything to tie it in a little bit better, or like at least under most things. I'm going to try not to maybe clutter it too much because I think that is one of the uh, dangers. Um, so I'm just going to maybe put shells underneath one side of this. There we go. Yeah, I think that might be better. I'll hold off on the cliff stuff just uh, for now because I don't know what else we're going to put there. Um, this one is definitely going to get a puddle. You better believe this will absolutely have a puddle underneath. We might even just go for like the regular one. And then all of these will have like, I don't know, they might just have leaves to be honest. Um... Oh, let's think about how to how to do this properly without having to move too much maybe yeah this is good can this move in further oh there's even another tile behind this oh okay we can decorate like we can just put i have a flower with me why don't we just put like i don't know a blue pansy why not you know and then this will even get like a vine nope i meant this <laughs> That'll get a vine. That's awesome. This can even still have something. I mean, maybe we can just work with like a weed and then we will scatter some leaves over here. So there's like something going on, but like not too much either. So we'll do leaf and leaf. And then we're going to need another one like here. We'll do the thin ones and then these ones with the stones. Okay, good. And then I'm gonna need to get my wooden boxes back. There we go, number one and, and number two. And then push it in. We're gonna bring this further down. Was that the way I had it? I think it is. And then this has a sapling behind it. Okay, good. Yeah, that works. Okay, and then the rolling cart goes back. There we go. I think it was placed the other way around and then this was the decorative bottles all right that works for me this one might even get a couple of those stones i think so i'm thinking these here you know and then it's gonna be like halfway in front of this like notice board we just need to find something for like on top of it okay good so we have a couple of weeds with us still um I might have to get, I think this is fine. This is neat, like a custom design on it. This up here maybe also doesn't, at least not the weed fields behind the tree. Maybe this one also can get the puddle, but this time with leaves. And then I'm going to have to get a whole bunch of um, flowers and fillers. You know the drill. Um, I feel like at this point, all of my islands have started just being like a almost like a meadow, meadow core, <laughs> just because I feel like it, it makes sense. Like it works. It brings the vibes across. It's nice decorating so that you're not overwhelming your, your switch. I feel like, I feel like flowers are one of the things that you can, you can put down and it won't be like just overheating and whatever. Okay. I also, am just going to plant this flower here and then I'm going to put a code underneath, um, underneath this. Uh, we'll go with the, some blue flowers right next to the pink ones. Why not? Very loud here. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to get also maybe some more weed fields. 
um especially maybe for up here so i'm gonna get some flowers i'm gonna get some more uh, or some shrubs and then maybe some more wheat fields also and then i will meet you back where the uh resident services is basically right here okay i need to definitely get a couple more um more shrubs in a second for now i was only able to grab some of the fully grown ones i still have stored and i grabbed just two wheat fields because i was thinking that I don't know, I feel like this is a very nice area to have weed fields, but at the same time, maybe it leaves too much room here. But then I was thinking of putting one like, okay, that's half a tile though, that's not great. That's like half a tile between, actually maybe that's okay though. We need to work with some more custom designs here anyway, but like, so maybe this is the full one, the full tile weed field here, like up against that. And then the other one is here. And then we have something fully grown here and then custom designs underneath. I think I wanna try that, yes. Okay, so let's see. These here will be something, I don't know. Maybe shells, maybe actually some shells. Maybe these, maybe these here and then smaller ones to the side. And then I'm going to put the weed field back. And then let me see. We've got some open tiles here. I think this here could be a shrub. And then that'll be, that'll be a little, uh, I don't know. Maybe, oh, maybe just some sakura. Yeah, shrub here, flower there. Or flower here, shrub there. Okay, I have like a, wait, not the plumeria. I have like a hibiscus here. Maybe that's okay. Biscuits, and then we'll put the simple wooden fence back up there we go this will need to be something tall maybe like pink maybe the hyacinth actually wait there's a hyacinth right there okay we need to think about what this is gonna be because i feel like mum would be great we got all the other flowers like so close by but so let's try let's make this one the white mum and then maybe this one is a windflower, something a little bit more contrasty. So the windflower there. And then maybe this is also just a, a, a shrub that I still have to get, but you know. I think this I want to be like a blue flower. So I'm gonna try like blue pansy and then maybe just like two weeds. I planted one behind the tree. That's also okay. <laughs> That's also okay. Uh, but yeah, so like this would be another weed and then maybe, maybe this could be, oh, I don't know. Should that be a shrub too? Or just another weed? Just like hidden behind, hidden behind the weed field. I think that's okay. Probably. Right. Oh, I was just thinking, what about the shell lamp that we currently still have up on the cliff here? I think I want to try that. I think I'm just going to put a puddle, maybe once again. I feel like I've used a lot of puddles today, but then they're all in very different spots, I think. So maybe, maybe it's fine. Um, Flick, excuse me, I need to get up here. Thank you, thank you. I'll grab this and I will try that out in the space. Yeah, maybe a shell lamp that you walk past. It's just, it's a, it's a shell, really, you know? Um, okay, we've got this covered. We do need to grab some more shrubs for sure. I will do that in just a second. I also would like this to be a ladder instead of a vine, but I actually don't know if we have any more of those. So let's go and check. Okay, we don't have another ladder. I don't know if maybe we can we can make one. That might be an option. Um, I'm not, oh, we can maybe try and work in a bit more uh, wooden fencing. And then I guess the other thing that I can try and grab are some shrubs. Yes, there we go. Okay, hydrangea. We need tea olive. Um, hibiscus I still have with me like a little bit. And then azalea. And if I can, I'm going to grab hibiscus and plumeria. Yeah, okay. I was able to grab everything. Good. All right. Let's check my custom designs. No, my recipes. Um, I can make the wooden ladder setup kit. I do need a ladder. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. We need to craft a ladder and then using the ladder, we need to make this setup kit. Okay, which is requiring like all three types of wood. Okay, right, right. I think I wanna have some, 
some pumpkins. I just have like, I just ran past this one store at like pumpkin um, on the on the beach. And I also just did my filler guide like maybe two, three weeks ago. And I remember I had this like pumpkin, I had the pumpkins as fillers too. And I think I should maybe do that. I'm also, also kind of thinking of planting it just on like tiles of, did I get the sand? I meant the light dirt, sorry. Uh, on like tiles of dirt, you know, there's just gonna be like two pumpkins there and then maybe like some more, some more somewhere else. Maybe like here? Is that gonna be weird? Maybe, maybe it's gonna be weird. I think that's okay though. All right? Maybe even here? Let's try it. Let's try that. This is all gonna be pumpkins and we do have to water them. I only have the one fully grown one and I mean, I can use that, but you know, still isn't enough. All right. So far, so good. I will also go ahead and plant... How about an azalea over here? Um, oh my god, my shrubs are all over the place. Oh yeah, azalea, there we go. Okay, white pumpkins, and I will grab a watering can so I can take care of those right away. Pate looks so cute. <laughs> she looks so cute. Okay, white pumpkin and another one. And then I honestly think this should be a shrub. Uh, maybe even something like darker, kind of like the plumeria. And then this can be like a flower or something. This could just be, this could just be a weed. Cause you have to, you have to walk through this part, right? So like these maybe should just be like weeds. So you walk through here. This can definitely be a flower. And so should that be, which I think it should be something different to the like not not white because of the pumpkins maybe like blue here and pink here might have to switch this in a second you know i don't know some random pumpkin fillers why not <laughs> why not i need to live by what i advocate for is that correct english i don't know but that's okay that is okay right so white pumpkins there we go I also did say I wanted to put a blue flower, I believe, in front of this here, which maybe this could be the hyacinth. I'm going to have to check this from the upper um, viewing platform if you kind of see this, but you kind of do, yes. You kind of do. Uh, next question. Next question is what these should be. Honestly, this could be a pink flower. Pink lily and then a tea olive in front of the tree okay i also think you know what we should definitely have because this is so close to isabel uh some lilies of the valley um how about we have one like right here right here or also next to the tree so you see that when you wake up and then maybe even one like up here like right in front of this tree kind of like it would spawn in real life you know it would actually it would actually spawn this close to the edge so i think that is actually not bad we have a pink flower down there um i might want to put another one though or maybe this is a shrub and then the other one is a pink flower Okay, I got a hydrangea close to the, the campsite, so I'm gonna go for Plumeria. And then I'm gonna put a pink windflower here. And I'm gonna put a shrub behind it, and then maybe just a a weed in this in this uh spot right there. Okay, uh let's do the hibiscus. And then this is gonna be, I'm gonna keep the vines. So I'm gonna put a coat underneath. Um, let's do some white flowers. There we go. And then this will be like a lighter shrub. Yeah, why not? Okay, and then this will be re returned or like the vine. We'll return the vine. Now Pate and Hornsby are very close. Y'all, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Okay, this should definitely be a flower. How about a white tulip? Um, okay, 
L-shaped farm, probably not so cute, right? No, the corner thing, I don't think that's it. And I don't think that's it. Okay, maybe not. Let me think. I still have some fencing with me, to be fair. Don't y'all be mad at each other after you're done talking, okay? I don't have time to listen in because I'm very busy trying to make this island look cute. <laughs> okay, is that too much like fence vibes? Actually may might be fine. Oh yeah, they're okay, right? I think they're okay. They're very like indifferent, it almost feels like. Yeah, maybe this can be a fence and then maybe, nope. Maybe this can also be a fence. And then I guess this would just be a clump of weed. And maybe this can be another shrub. If that's too much, I guess we're gonna see the next day. But maybe that could also be a shrub. All right, I like that, I think. Let's put some shells underneath this also. Still haven't watered the pumpkins. Can't forget, can't forget. Water the pumpkins, can't forget. Um, and I hear a mole cricket. But we're gonna we're gonna get rid of all of them because every tile is gonna be covered, so they have no room to spawn, which is awesome. And then Pate is doing some yoga. <laughs> cute, 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 cute. Okay, watering number one. There we go. Let those pumpkins grow. Number two over here. This is kind of maybe good because I think this is a full tile, so we can even put something in front of this, and I think that'll tie it in well with the decorating you know isabel ordered to have some pumpkins planted for uh the and i don't know general vibe of the <laughs> island she just wants people that visit to believe that they all like grow their own like vegetables even though alice provides for the entire island you know okay i like this area at least you know judging from what it's looking like right now it might be too much once all the shrubs have grown in though um but we'll see and then I guess we still have a little bit of stuff here, but that should also be relatively okay-ish to do. Let's do hibiscus here, and then I think this can be... This can be a flower maybe, like this here, with a pink mum. And then this will just be like a weed, you know? That might be perfectly fine. And then we have some open tiles here. Once again, I think these are relatively easy though, because we're just gonna maybe cover parts of it with like shrubs, etc. So let's do hydrangea, which we have on the left there, but that's okay. Uh, maybe this could be a Cosmo. And then the rest is just weeds. I can also maybe drop a shell every once in a while. Oh my God, all the same weed. Even though you don't see them, that's not okay for me. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to step in and change that because I'm not vibing with that. <laughs> there we go. At least one of them different. That's good. Okay, so that means all the tiles here are done. Not really on the cliff just yet, but um, I don't know if we're gonna get to that today. You know, I think we're just gonna do. We're probably gonna do like another, another part where we like cover this cliff here, these few tiles, as well as across the the river behind the cliff and this like full-on transitional fillers not not even transitional i don't think you'll ever walk here it's just fillers just to fill you know that's the entire purpose of it um okay pate's still looking really really cute oh yeah the mole cricket's definitely somewhere here definitely somewhere here right In front of the tree, maybe? Oh, I think that was it. This right here was it. It's just a technique I've been doing in the past few <laughs> past few episodes. Whenever I hear a mole cricket, I just start covering everything I see in weeds. Because I just can't be bothered to like try and figure out where they are. Like it's just I'm not my patience is not is not there, you know? Okay, since we've done the little pumpkin thingy with always the two uh, together, I kind of want to maybe even continue that. So we've got two horizontal one and one one uh, vertical one over there. So maybe we can do one more vertical and then one more horizontal over here. 
And so we just got a couple of pumpkins spread around. Do I still have enough? I still have four, yes. That actually works out, okay. You just have to remember to water them tomorrow because watering them twice will give them full produce growth pretty much. So three, three on each crop, at least it should. At least it should. Okay, so this one and this one, perfect. So all of our pumpkins have also been put in. Let's water them right away. Uh, there we go, number one, or I guess number four. And number two slash five. All right, okay. Awesome, I was I ventured like way further into this part than I really wanted to. Also, I was just thinking about what to put on the here and I remembered I have, I have a little bag there. It's just not the perfect color, is it? It could be great if it was just slightly more into the pink, into like a pink shade. I never thought I'd say that, but you know. Oh yeah, and then we can't forget that this is actually not really decorated yet. <laughs> I'm not mad at like some, some weed scoring here. I think a weed here is good just to give the pumpkins their moment and then we can maybe put something here. Maybe just like a shopping bag. I think we should probably have a shopping bag, right? Let me, let me check that. Also, maybe we can see if there is something else that we want to put on the stacked bottle crates. Um, I mean, it could be, oh God, actually, you know what? It could be anything here as though they were like selling it. Maybe this is good for a bottle chip. Yeah, let's do bottle chip. I think that's honestly kind of a good idea. Did not mean to pick up that weed, but that, yeah. <laughs> Could have thought of that before. Yeah, maybe that's not bad. Okay, and then I think this was the lighter green one before, possibly. And I think this one I want to be the sturdy paper bag. Yeah, you know, someone was just shopping and and then and, and put that here. I like it. I like it. Okay, uh, let's go and focus on the other tiles. So we have a shrub here. So maybe we'll do one here. Uh, let's do azalea and then make this one a flower. Let me go up here and see kind of the balancing of this area so far. Um, it does seem like we've got a lot of pink going on to the left there. And also that just made me notice we do have two pink lilies in the same view right there, which is not so great. Um, maybe we can switch that to a pink mum instead, which we have behind this. We could probably just change uh, exchange them though, right? I don't... Okay, like... <laughs> There, I think there's like a pink mum up on the cliff, but that one really is is far enough away or like you never really get them in the same uh, in the same shot. So that's fine. So we're going to do like the lily here and then this will be. Oh, or I don't know. Do you think maybe. Oh, here is a pink mum. Maybe this should be the pink. No, 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 no. We'll do tulip here. We'll do the pink mum and then we'll see if. We have to switch anything else around. There's just not really any other option. We can do like a hyacinth, but I feel like hyacinth is too much the shape of the bottles, if that makes sense. You know, they're also like thin and tall more like. So I think mum is like a nicer, nicer shape to balance everything out. And then maybe this gets, sw gets switched to the hyacinth and the one in front of Nook's Cranny is going to be like a windflower. Yeah, let's do this. See, this is what happens. This is why usually I always work from like one area going forward and I don't do one like here and then over here and then try to connect them because I always run into the issue of like double flowers um, and then I have to like switch everything and change everything later on. So yeah. Okay. I definitely think this could be a shrub. Mm. Hydrangea maybe. And then maybe a flower and maybe this is the weed. I also still have my fence with me, which once again, we could include a bit more fence over here somewhere, but I I don't know. I'll, I'll hold off on that until we do like the Able Sisters decorating because I think that it'll still, um, like that'll, that'll give us a couple more uh, like items to work with. 
Okay. This can be a flower. This can maybe be like a Cosmo. I haven't worked with the Cosmo in a while. Yes. Cosmo here. Um, maybe weed. And then shrub. Maybe hibiscus, like a little bit of a darker shrub. And then like... There's a lot of white going on in this part. Maybe something pink. I don't know if the hyacinth... I think that's far enough away, right? And then also like a club of weed here. Maybe with those growing in, that'll look okay-ish. Um, okay, let's see. I've got all this filled. I think all around this cliff, just on top of the cliff needs to still be done. Um, I have a, everything over here. Again, just on top of the cliff. And I think I have everything here, including at least parts of the cliff. I do believe that one of these should be something else. I don't know if maybe, I feel like shrub is too much because then we got like almost a diagonal line of shrubs, if that makes sense. I did want to put a flower in front of this here, uh, which maybe a, oh, maybe a pink lily. Depending on if you see these uh, kind of in the same view, kind of with the one on the cliff from before. And then I think this will be something dropped. This might be like a dropped... Shell? Maybe also the purse? <laughs> Still doesn't quite fit, huh? Yeah, maybe just the shell. Let me grab, let me grab one. Okay, I have one of the more like cream colored ones and I also grabbed a summer shell. Maybe the Lily of the Valley also needs to be a tile to the front. Yeah, let's try that. Just feel like with the coconut, if you walk past it, you might be able to see it better if it's here. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Okay, and then maybe this can be the blue then to kind of set it off against, against the Lily of the Valley. There we go. All right, maybe somewhat like this. And then I did also grab the workbench and all the wood types so we can make that ladder uh, that we wanted. So we're gonna go craft, first of all, a ladder. I don't know if we need to make it white or blue this time. I think we made blue ones before, but that doesn't, I mean, we will try the white one this time. I don't know. Okay, we're done crafting. We made the setup kit also. Uh, awesome. Awesome, okay, and now let's customize it. Technically, I guess we could also just leave it wood color and then it blends in with the cliff. Actually, wait, let me try this. Although you do see like, you only see the grass from this, from this side, so. Yeah, no, we're gonna make this uh, white, I think. I'm gonna try white. Yeah, let's customize. Okay, there we go, ladder. You only see the top parts of it. Honestly, that seems okay for me. And now I think what we're gonna do is, or what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna time travel to get the pumpkins grown and also to get the shrubs all grown. I think it's looking kind of good. And then because it's the 9th of April, I'll also jump back so we have the pink trees again. So I will see you after I've done that. And here we are. I think everything's grown in. Yes, we got pumpkins, pumpkins, pumpkins. All of them seem to be fully grown. We have all the shrubs fully grown. Obviously more open tiles towards the left, but we don't really worry about that. I mean, this is kind of full. I wonder if it would be better to move the pumpkins so that there is a free tile here. Uh, that would be my one thing. And then I guess, or do we add another one? No, that's probably too much. Um, and then the other thing is I think this right here is the double weeds here, I'm not really a super fan of, so maybe we all should just do like the puddle with dropped shell kind of thing. Uh, so those are two changes I just want to quickly try out. Uh, this also had, this had a, yeah, this had a weed, okay. So uh, we do still have the shell with us, that's good. And then I think I'm just gonna go and try this quickly without the dirt underneath. I will add it though if I like it. Um, so I'm gonna grab this here. And this will be the pumpkins instead. And this will just be like a weed. I think that's that's a little bit better just because I think it kind of breaks off the or breaks up the 
the fence thing. Otherwise, this seems to be like a pair, like a group of six things, and then there's like the fence in front of it. I feel like that made it like just a smidge awkward, like not terrible, but just like a smidge smidge. So uh, yeah, let's switch that real quick. I do need to do some, some quick pathing work. So we have, uh, yeah, dirt path is fine. We're gonna put one here and then we're gonna remove this one. Actually, all three pumpkins, all, all three tiles as pumpkins, I think would also have been fine. It's just breaking off the, the section kind of feeling. Okay, so um, obviously the cliff I'm standing on is not decorated yet, but I think that'll be okay-ish. I do like the lily of the valley in front of the tree. I think that was a good idea. Um, you see a little bit of the anchor. There's definitely some shells going on. Um, might actually want to switch that pink hyacinth a bit further back. Do so you see it more? Maybe switch the shrub and the hyacinth, you know? So you kind of see that a little bit more from this perspective anyways. Uh, so I'm gonna also quickly do that. Don't mind me as I just change a couple of things, right? Uh, yeah, we just, we need to do what we feel best with. And that was my shovel. God, for a second there, I was like, I actually got a little scared because I was like, what the heck just happened because of the angle change? Okay, so shrub and hyacinth. Uh, not really the buds. I mis misplanted. That's okay. That's okay. They will grow in. I think that's a little better. Um, okay. So I think I'll go into like our full mode. I'll go a little higher up so you see the entire thing. And there we go. Our resident services is mostly decorated. We are, like I said, missing a few tiles here by this, by this cliff right here. And then I guess behind the building, but I'm, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that you don't really see them from the front. So there's that. Okay. But I hope you enjoyed today. Um, have you also decorated your resin services on your island already? Or is that an area that you are procrastinating? Because I think for me, it oftentimes can be one I'm procrastinating a little bit. But we did it on this one, which is awesome. All right. Thank you all so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure that you give it a thumbs up and also maybe comment if you want to. Um, and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And then, again, thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out today. And then I hope you have an awesome time until I see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.